Good morning. After introducing the idea of a working group on children's rights at the World Forum in 2011, which was met with a great deal of interest, the World Forum Foundation supported the organization of a working group meeting in Moss, Norway. At this meeting, a small group of us defined our mission and began dreaming of possibilities. As a working group, we believe that children have important ideas surrounding their rights as current and future citizens of the world. Adults must listen to these ideas to better understand and elevate not only children's rights, but also the rights of all human beings. Our work focuses on amplifying the voice of children, not through the voices of adult advocates, but rather through the children's own voices manifest in the many languages of childhood. The Images of Rights Children's Perspective Project is inspired by the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child that acknowledges children's rights to provision, protection, and participation. While the articles that compose the convention offer an adult perspective on children's rights, we also want to recognize children's perspectives which emanate from their lived experiences. We think that children understand their rights to protection, provision, and participation both when they are honored and when they are lacking. Further, we think that children express their understandings through their representations and through the stories that these representations tell. The Images of Rights project is about giving visibility to children's understanding of their fundamental rights. To accomplish this, we have collected photographs of children's artwork in many different media, accompanied by children's narratives about the work and adults' interpretations highlighting the rights to provision, protection, and participation that the artwork and the narratives address. Exchange Magazine has published a series of three articles on children's rights, the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child and the Images of Rights Children's Perspective Project, authored by members of the Working Group on Children's Rights with contributions from the World Forum community. The third article in that series can be found in the current copy of Exchange, which you have in your World Forum bag. The images on the screen are from the Images of Rights Children's Perspectives Gallery, which can be found on the World Forum Foundation website. We invite you to visit the gallery and to add images and stories from your context. If you would like to participate in a panel presentation and discussion about this project, please join us on Thursday at 2 o'clock in Auckland 2. We are guilty of many errors and many faults, but our worst crime is abandoning the children, neglecting the fountain of life. Many of the things we need can wait. The child cannot. Right now is the time her bones are being formed, her blood is being made, and her senses are being developed. To her, we cannot answer tomorrow. Her name is today. These are provocative words of the Chilean poet, Gabriela Mistral. The Voices of Children documentary project was conceived in the urgence of childhood, believing that we came here today in our fight for a better infancy in the world, sharing our ideas strength, and work. Being together makes us stronger, connects our fight. We believe that our children wrestle the same battle as us, but they are not here. They face the same challenge we are facing now, and they will inherit the problems that we are creating, but they are not here. We also believe in the children, their ideas, their solution, their possibilities. They can teach us a lot. They can lead us, but yet they are not here. 
They are the best advocates for their causes. To tell us it is time for playing, climbing a tree, or that we should laugh more and roll in the grass sometimes, but they are not here. And if not now, then when? Today, we bring the voices of children to the World Forum. Our film project, Dream to Connect Children's Voices and Ideas, as we are connected here. Many of the issues a child in Karachi faces are also present in the life of a child who lives here in Auckland. To build this connection and to make visible the diversity of children's voices from around the world, we journeyed to five countries to listen. Brazil, India, Singapore, USA, and Kenya. We will see how their diversity is connected. They will help us understand the right we all have and must honor to stay connected with nature, to run, jump, pl climb, play, and laugh. They will remind us that we have the right to live in a beautiful and safe place, that we need an environment of trust and protection where risk-taking is possible, and that even the youngest of us has the right to be a participant in the life of the community. We can learn plenty about being in the world with the children. They will teach us through their hundreds of languages, and they will remind us that we too arrived in this world speaking these hundreds of languages. In 2012, in Moss, Norway, we had a dream. We dreamed that we would bring together in the World Forum children from different countries to share with us their voices, their ideas on the rights of the child. This film is just a glimpse into our journey. It was much deeper and more complex than this. To go further on this journey, we invite you to our panel discussion on this project on Thursday, 11 a.m. The Voices of Children project is our living learning journey to bring the children here, to make us listen to their voices, voices that come from their hearts, bodies, and souls. 